The trapezius consists of three main muscle bellies, the upper trapezius, middle trapezius, and lower trapezius. We'll begin with the upper trapezius. It originates on the ligamentum nuchae, which on the spinous processes of the cervical vertebrae is a ligament that comes out and attaches like this. It also originate, originates on the superior nuchal line of the skull. So if you look at our model here, this small line right here by the external occipital protuberance is where this muscle originates. And that's also another one is the ox, external occipital protuberance and also the spinous process of cervical vertebrae seven. The upper trapezius will travel to insert on the clavicle. Posterior lateral one third of the clavicle. The innervation of the trapezius has two parts, a motor part and a sensory innervation. The motor innervation is by cranial nerve 11, which is also known as the accessory nerve. The sensory aspect are is innervated from the branches of the ventral rami C3 and C4. The blood supply is provided from the superficial cervical artery, dorsal scapular artery, and the posterior branches of the posterior intercostal arteries. I wanna make some clarification about the blood supply to the trapezius muscle. The blood supply is from the superficial cervical artery, the dorsal scapular artery, and the posterior branches of the posterior intercostal arteries. We're gonna focus on these two for a second. I want to explain to you the subclavian artery gives off a thyrocervical trunk. From the thyrocervical trunk, you have the suprascapular artery, the ascending cervical artery, and what we want to focus on is the transverse cervical artery. So the transverse cervical artery has two branches, a superficial branch and a deep branch. So some sources will say the trapezius has blood supply from the superficial branch of the transverse artery. Another name for the superficial branch of the transverse artery is a superficial cervical artery. Another source will say the deep branch of the transverse cervical artery, but this artery is also known as the dorsal scapular artery. So don't let these aliases fool you. The dorsal scapular artery is also known as the deep branch of the transverse cervical artery. And the superficial cervical artery is also known as the superficial branch of the transverse cervical artery. The upper trapezius is responsible for the open chain scapular elevation. So on our scapula model here, posterior side left, the center of rotation of the scapula is about where the star is on the model. And so the upper trapezius will pull it to go to do an upward slide and upward rotation. And that is scapular elevation, upward slide, and upward rotation. Closed chain actions is unilaterally. It will do ipsilateral side bending, which is same side side bending and contralateral rotation of the head and neck. So looking at the left side of the neck, ipsilateral side bend and contralateral rotation. Finally, bilaterally, a closed chain action is head and neck extension. So with both upper trapezius working together, it will perform head and neck extension. The middle trapezius originates on the spinous processes of T1 through seven. So your upper half of your thoracic vertebral spinous processes, and it'll come over to insert on the scapula on the acromion and the superior lip of the scapular spine. It has the same innervation as the upper trapezius, 
with the motor being from the cranial nerve 11, the accessory nerve, and the sensory being from branches of the ventral rami, C3 and 4. The arterial supply is the same with the superficial cervical artery, the dorsal scapular artery, and the posterior branches of the posterior intercostal arteries. The action of the middle trapezius is scapular retraction. So on our scapular model here, when the middle trapezius contracts, it will do a medial slide and an external rotation, which together is scapular retraction. The lower trapezius originates on the lower half of the thoracic spine's spinous processes. So T7 through 12, spinous processes, and we'll go over to insert on the scapula at the triangle at the base of the scapular spine. It has the same innervation, the motor innervation of cranial nerve 11, the accessory nerve, and the sensory innervation from the branches of the ventral rami, C3 and C4. It has the same blood supply as the other two, the superficial cervical artery, the dorsal scapular artery, and the posterior branches of the posterior intercostal arteries. The action of the lower trapezius is open chain action of scapular upward rotation and downward slide. On our model, our center of rotation of the scapula is here at the star. And since it's pulling in this direction, it will contribute to downward slide and upward rotation. 